Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. Is it really? For some people it is, but for others, it's the city of hardships, the city of peer pressure. What's it to me? The city of overcoming. My name is Rogelio Aguilar, and this is my educational experience. I live in North Philadelphia. There's a lot of drug dealings involved, shootouts happen periodically, but you know, still something. Kids that as young as 12 years old have tattoos and have experimented with drugs. As a kid, when you're in that area, you're bound to be asked, hey man, wanna try a whiff of this? And gratefully, um, my mother was there to, you know, tell everyone, hey, don't mess with my son. Tratamos de que ellos estuvieran ocupados en diversas cosas, que no estuvieran en la calle sin hacer nada, porque en la calle, pues, obvio, van a traer problemas. Vivimos en un vecindario que no es tan bueno, pero todo depende de la familia y del de núcleo de la familia y cómo tú te crías. Not only is it difficult um, to be Hispanic in, a, in, in the city, but I think it's hard to be a city student in general. If you look at the statistics, kids in the suburban schools do a lot better than the kids in the city schools because the, the kids in the city schools are more distracted with other things that they can do. The hardest part being a Hispanic is being able to overcome the influences that, that come with being in an urban area. But it, it feels good once you, once you overcome it though because you prove everyone wrong, you prove the statistics wrong. A typical day for me currently is having no life. <laughs> so I would get home around five o'clock from school because at school I do um, student council stuff or if I need help with homework, I stay with the teachers and they help me out. Once I get home, I eat, I change my clothes, I get to doing my homework. It is literally 1.31 in the morning on a school night and I am finally done all of my homework. This is like a new record. It's great. It's great. And then I go to bed. And that's a day for me. <laughs> Just no life. As a kid, I actually wanted to be out there with with the kids and me not knowing any better, I just saw it as a cool thing and I wanted to fit in with everybody because that's what you want to do as a kid. You want to fit in and be the cool kid. But my mom was like, oh no, you didn't. So my mom enrolled me in a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy and it has played a huge part in my life for as long as I can remember. I initially joined the academy because I was a chubby little grease ball and I was always picked on in school. Plus, my mom didn't want me always at home. But I got something out of it than just weight loss and confidence. Aside from going what's ha on people and my friends, it gave me a sense of perseverance and a sense of responsibility by balancing my academics with extracurriculars. My father is a really big advocate in um, excelling in, in school and doing the best that you can in education because he believes that nothing in the world, not even family or friends, can get you as far as education. Education is kind of like setting an impression for yourself. Knowledge is power, so what I try to do is I try to absorb everything that I can learn and use it in a practical way in my life. I definitely have to thank my parents for giving me this educational mindset that I have now. My mom, she gave me the personality. She always told me to be nice to people. Her favorite thing to tell me would be, hey, there's more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. So with my personality, it bonded well because I have a lot of friends who support me. As far as my dad, he gave me the ambition to work harder. He gave me the work ethic. He's always told me that there's room for better. If it wasn't for their guidance and more values they instilled in me, I wouldn't be as prepared for this academic journey. I wouldn't have these amazing friends. And most importantly, I wouldn't have an ideal to strive towards.